Hey guys. Guys. Hey guys. This video is something that many of you have asked, because Chrome OS storage space is a real problem when it comes to dual boot or bootable USB. This video is a follow-up of my other two videos, how to dual boot Chrome OS and Windows 10, and how to make a Chrome OS bootable USB. To keep the video short, I will not go through every step of the installation in Grub2Win. If you want to learn step-by-step step how to make a dual boot system with Chrome OS and Windows 10 or a bootable Chrome OS USB, then please check out this videos. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. With all this being said, let's get into the video. As you can see here in Chrome, following the traditional method that I presented in my previous video, I have only 3 gigs of storage available. And the partition that I've created for Chrome OS is 50 gigs. So, what I have to do now is to create a new Chrome OS disk image that has the same size as the partition. The first step is downloading the latest version of Ramus image for CPU of 4th gen or higher. If your CPU is 3rd gen or lower, then download the same as image. If you have AMD Stony Ridge processor, use Grunt image and Zork image for AMD Ryzen 3. The next step is to download the latest stable brunch release. All the links for everything mentioned in this video, you can find them down in the description. Once the download is complete, extract the Ramus recovery image from the archive. Then turn Grub to win and delete the existing Chrome OS. Same goes for the Chrome OS partition. Inside the Chrome OS folder, delete the existing Ramus image. Now to create a new, larger, Ramus image, open up Ubuntu. Here, type in the command cd space slash mnt slash c slash users slash your username slash downloads. Next, type in ls to list everything that is in that folder. Next command is sudo tar zxbf and highlight the brunch file, control plus c to copy it and right click to paste it. Now, type in sudo bash chrome os dash install dot sh dash src and highlight the ramus recovery dot bin, control plus c to copy it and right click to paste it. After pasting it, type dash dst chrome os dot img dash s and type in the amount of gigabytes you want for your ramus image. My Chrome OS partition has 48.8 gigs, so I will make a 48 gigs disk image. Press enter and wait for the disk image to complete.
Rename the image from Chrome OS to Ramus underline image and move it into the Chrome OS folder. Open Grub to Win and remake the installation process. Like I mentioned before, the complete, step-by-step, -step tutorial of installing Chrome OS with Grub to Win, you can find it in my previous video. As you can see, now, instead of 3 gigs of available storage, we have over 35. For the sake of this video, I will make now an even larger disk image and a larger partition, just to show that you can have a bootable system of whatever size you want. I made now a 250 gigs partition and a 250 gigs disk image and, as you can see, everything works without any problems. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.